So the last step of this equation is to find out what is the surface area we would need to facilitate this um, transfer. And um, so taking a look, so this is the equation. So we have the um, weight of heat transfer in watt and the heat transfer coefficient, the area and the delta T. So let's just take a look at the picture again. Look, just trying to understand what's going on. So we do have a heat exchanger that is actually open. Um, as we use the heat to heat up the milk inside, the heat on the other side of the metal pipe, or there's not a pipe here, of the metal or of the heat exchanger stays at 120 degrees Celsius. And um, the milk during the evaporation process, it also stays at 65 degrees Celsius at the um, energies given off or at the, the water is evaporated. So it stays at 65 degrees Celsius. So the trick for this question is to recognize that delta T is only 55 degrees Celsius is 120 minus 65. Um, the rest is actually quite straightforward. One thing that we need to pay attention to is that for the rest of the calculation, what we've done is we assume an hour. Because um, we were making, we were producing five tons of evaporated milk per hour. That was in the question. So we would then need to convert it back to what? And so kilojoules per hour the way we do it is to multiply it by a hundred joules per ki oh a hundred a thousand joules per kilojoules. Let me try to change this to kilojoules. And then an hour and what we are doing is a ratio of thirty six hundred seconds. Now we have the rate of heat transfer in joules per second. That's what. Um this is pretty straightforward too. If for a multi-layer system to look for the overall coefficients, we use we combine them all, each individual systems. Okay, so the metal plate here has a thickness of four four point five millimeter, so it's now point zero zero four five meter. Um, everything is quite straightforward. You calculate the U. You get the T. Now we have the T, we have the U, and we have the overall weight of heat transfer. Then it will be, then the rest will be quite easy. I will leave it to you to calculate the overall area.